Hello, welcome to Christ Talk. Today, I want to deliver a very, very important message to you. So please listen to me carefully. This message is to us as an American. It is very important that you listen. I have been struggling with this message every day because I want to be sure that what I have been feeling is truly from God. And there are so many confirmations and I believe that it is time for me to deliver it. I just wake up this morning, maybe you can hear the vo my voice, you know, I'm still, I'm still sleeping. But I felt the urgency to deliver the message today. Like I said, this message is to us as an American. Our nation, a great nation, a nation that God has placed to be the leader of all nations in the world, have turned our back against God Almighty. Our nation have sinned. And there is a judgment that is coming upon our nation. The Bible says, sin is a reproach to a nation. Sin is a reproach to a nation. What is sin? Sin means disobedience to God's law. Rejection to God's commandment. Undermining the word of God. That is sin. And the Bible says that sin is a reproach to a nation. So what is a reproach? Or what is reproach? Reproach is a shame or a disgrace or something that brings rebuke to a nation or to a person. Reproach is a shame or disgrace that come upon a nation or something that come as a form of a rebuke to a nation. And the Bible says sin is a reproach. Sin bring shame. Sin bring disgrace to a nation, to a person. Sin bring rebuke. Sin bring a form of judgment to a person or a nation. And our nation, our great nation, have sinned against God. Our leaders have sinned against God. They have taken this nation in the wrong direction and there's a reproach. There's a shame that is coming upon America. There's a disgrace that is coming upon America. There's a rebuke that is coming upon America. Please listen to me carefully. I know some of you will laugh at me. Some, some, some of you will cuss me out. But let me tell you, it's not going to change what I'm saying today. It's not going to change what I'm telling you. Because it's not me. It is God. And your, your, your reaction, whatever you say, you're laughing at me, will not stop what God wants to do. Our government cannot stop it. No, even the scientists can't stop it. No man. It's going to happen whether you like it or not. And that's why you should listen to me. And the reason why I'm delivering this message is to warn you. Because there's going to be a natural disaster. You're going to see things that is worse than 9-11. You're going to see things that is going to happen that you will say, Why? Before you start blaming God, listen. It's not because of God. It's a Punishment as a result of sin is the reward of our sin as a nation. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. And that is what is going to happen. They say there is a reward when you disobey God, when you undermining undermining God's commandment, God's word. And there's, 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 and there's a punishment that comes. And that punishment has come upon America. I see Disaster coming. I see confusion coming. I see violence coming. I see rage and anger coming. I 
see blood on our street. Let me tell you, if you are a uniformed person, most especially if you are a police officer, listen to me. I know that you are innocent. I know you are doing your job to protect our nation. But I want you to pray. This is not religion. I want you to pray. There is a, a target on you. The rage is going to be taken on you. I see that the police officers are being killed on our street. I see police, police officers are running, uniform people running for safety because they are being murdered by, by those people who are in anger and rage. Please, if you are a police officer, pray before you leave your house. This is not religion. Whatever you think that can protect you, please talk to that thing before you leave your house because your gun will not be able to protect you. I see, I see the military people on our street. I see what American used to, to see on TV that, that, that is, that, that is happening in another uh, third world country. Things that are happening in a third world country happening in America. I see military on the street trying to, to stop violence. I see law being passed that, 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 that take away the freedom, the freedom in America. Please listen to me carefully. I see disaster. I see anger. I see rage. For Listen, you see racism has come back again. Racism brings violence. I, I see so many things happening. I'm telling you. I see if you are working for the government, please pray. I see, I see people, <coughs> the economy going down again. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm telling you, please, please, I don't know how to explain, explain this, but listen to me. What I'm saying, you're going to be seeing it and you, you, will, you will come back and say, there was a guy who prophesied this. That's what I'm telling you. Listen, listen, you need to pray. You need to pray. I see those who call themselves wealthy men, those people we see that are rich, I see them, some of them fading out. Some of them fading out. It depends on who they are, what they do with their money. Some of them fading out. Business is going down. I see natural disaster happening. People dying. People die in confusion in our, in, our, in our society. Darkness has covered our society as a result of sin. I see a reproach. I see other countries trying to help America. I'm telling you, please listen to me carefully. You might say, what is he talking about? Let me just give you a clue. Uh, 20 years ago, if somebody tell you 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, if somebody tell you that America, a great nation, can be in debt of 17 trillion, you will say it can never happen. So that is a clue I want to tell you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, please listen to me carefully. It is for your own good. I see fear upon America that you can't go out of the mall anymore. I see military people in front of the mall, gathering the mall. I'm telling you. I see a checkpoint on our highway, on our street, things that used to happen in a foreign land is happening in America. And this is as a result of sin. You need to pray. Pray that you will not fall victim. Pray that your life will not be sucked out of you by evil. Please Pray. If you are a Christian, please pray. Pray that evil will not come to you. If you are not a Christian, please, whatever you think can protect you, pray because it's going to happen. I hope this message touched you. And I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.